Hi Libra. Okay, so these are your general messages for the week. I'm using a new deck. I think it's reading pretty well, so we'll see what you guys think. But um, I will be getting up some bonuses. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know, okay? For Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, I am seeing the name Karen. Okay, we have some conversation happening here. What's this conversation about for Libra? Ugh. Ugh. It's a rough conversation. It's one of those, you know, ones where somebody's just very much like demanding that it's their way or that what they're saying is correct and you're not right, you know, that kind of thing. It's going to be difficult for you. It's not going to be a fun conversation. Could be, could be an, a fire sign. Continue. I'm seeing migration for some reason, like bird migration. Um, why is the Ten of Swords here? Oh, you could have some issues. Oh, you could have some issues surrounding um, your car. Oh could be very expensive. If it's not that, you have to go visit somebody who's not well. For Libra, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Most of you are probably single. You know, I think I don't think it really bothers you unless it's late at night kind of thing. Um, for those of you that are involved, you could be just coming into more money. It's funny because if you're single, you're really like debating, like, do I even want to, you know, bring somebody into my life? Well, it's so like stress free, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I mean, with the world, anything's possible. For Libra. Why are you in the reverse, Libra? You have some sort of very big burden um, on your shoulders right now, and it looks like you will be, actually, looks like you're going to be dropping that burden. I'm getting a lot of full moons, so expect something to happen around the full moon, okay? For Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you've been worried about, like, paying the bills, being able to put some money away, um, I see that kind of coming to an end for you. I should have asked what this burden is. What is this burden for Libra? That's finally coming to an end, I should say. It looks like some sort of argument. Could be at the workplace, not necessarily, but it looks like some sort of argu argument with somebody. It's like this like perpetual argument that happens over and over and over again. That will be stopping. All right, who's this water sign? You could be going to business or having a new business partner or um, talking business with a water sign, just an FYI. Um, I see some sort of celebration. Maybe you guys are getting together in some sort of celebration. Maybe you're getting together for a party and this conversation starts up something like that. I'm getting ringing in my ear for Libra. Weirdness. Um, sound like bells. You could just be even be talking money with this person. I like it. I like it. If you are going into business with somebody, it doesn't have to be a water sign, okay? Could, could maybe they have a water placement. Um, you guys could really take off, like really take off here. Somebody's selling their home. For Libra. Moving on. I, somebody's moving or selling their home and moving in. Like, it almost looks like downsizing, but, um, but definitely moving on. I don't think you wanted to move into the next place for some reason. I'm getting the feeling like you... You have to move. Why is the tower here? For Libra. I'm 
being left out of a situation. You turn out okay. You turn out okay, but you are being left out of a situation. Somebody's not speaking the truth to you. They're not being honest. They're not letting you know. Like, it's, it sort of feels like one of those situations where if, like, the, a job opportunity came up that you really wanted and this person knows that that opportunity exists and is not telling you. That's what it looks like, okay? Could be anything, but... What else for Libra? All right, who's this King of Wands? Oh, somebody wants to reconcile. If this is a brand new person, it would be a soulmate, but it looks like somebody wants to reconcile. Could be a fire sign. If this is a new person, Libra, if this is a new person, mm, they're broke. I don't like that. Um, we don't date broke people, guys. We don't do that. Um, if it's a new person, I don't know. I don't know. You better like their personality. <laughs> if this is a person from the past, they're just broke. They're coming back with nothing in their pockets, okay? How is that going to go? You guys could have some sort of, could entertain each other, but it looks like um, it wouldn't last, okay? For Libra. Yeah, you know what? The sex wouldn't be very good. Well, I don't care if it's a past person or a new person. The sex wouldn't be very good. And again, I'm not saying you're even having sex with them. Maybe you just don't have that sort of chemistry, okay? You shouldn't. They're broke. <laughs> We don't have sex with broke people either. Okay. I make a really good mom, can you tell? <laughs> All right, for Libra. We have change coming or Scorpio energy. I'm seeing spiders, guys. Weirdness. Weirdness. This change looks very good. It's going to kind of like make you a little insecure because you're like, you know, whoa, wait a minute. Just yesterday I was dealing with all this other crap and now today I'm, everything's fantastic. Okay, so it is going to throw you off. Um, it's going to happen around one decision you make, which is weird. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? You have a lot of sixes. Yeah, it's like one opportunity. One opportunity gets uh, presented to you, and that's it. That's all you needed. And then everything changes. It's not like it's just going to change your income. It's going to change everything, which makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Because if you're struggling in one aspect of your life and that becomes easier, well, it takes a lot of weight um, off your shoulders so that you can focus elsewhere, you know, on, on other matters. <clears throat> it makes it easier to focus on those matters, too. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Ten of Pentacles. More income, Libra. More income. And I know a lot of you guys are Libra. A lot of my clients are Libras. Most of my clients are Leo, Capricorn, and Libras. And I will tell you that yeah, I know you guys have been struggling financially. It looks like it's much better. It's getting much better. Tell me where this money's coming from, please. All right, all right. For some of you, you might be getting involved with somebody with money. I'm getting like, you know, um, that sort of vibe. But for the majority of you, um, this is gonna be like a collaboration of some sort. We have you taking better care of yourself over here, too. Obviously, if you have better income, you would be able to take care of yourself. Ooh, we have that fire sign popping back up. <laughs> In tattered clothes, no less, guys. Whoever this person is, just, they don't have, don't have anything to offer you. Clearly. Clearly. 
Why are they popping back up over here? Uh, they're just going to keep trying to make their way back in. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Ridiculous. They might even cause you some, like, issues just because they're better. Okay? Who's this Queen of Pentacles? I feel like somebody's child or some child, you know, is com coming in and showing you, like, they you know, ace to test or they are on honor roll or something like that, okay? I do like it. Yeah, I do like that. You might also have a friend that's moving on as in like their job and they're and they're telling you about it, all right? We have the sun and the magician, so you will be going through some sort of healing situation, manifestation of some sort that's coming true opportunities here but here's the problem with your opportunities that are coming in you're gonna have a really hard time deciding whether it's a person whether it's a job you're gonna have a hard time deciding because it's like oh my gosh before I had no opportunities now I've got three now I've got five you know it's gonna be a little bit difficult for Libra what else we have the four of wands so I guess whatever you decide is very good very, very good. And the Three of Pentacles. Libra, this is good. This is a good reading. This is a really good reading. Somebody's getting a new house, for sure. I saw that now twice. All right, continue. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? Mm. somebody's coming back around um, in a negative way they're pulling as the devil so just keep that in mind somebody it looks like addictions they could have addictions or like really bad super bad habits this is somebody you've known for a while what's the outcome of that I don't like this what's the outcome of that it's probably somebody you were involved with at some point They are still involved with somebody else as well, okay? They're coming back around just because they're a very toxic person. Could be a Capricorn, doesn't have to be. They're going to tell you that they're better, they're not. If you're involved with somebody, they're going to try to mess it up, so be careful, okay? We have the Ten of Cups here for Libra. I love that. Why? I don't have never even seen this card. This is freaking adorable. It's really funny. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Libra? You are going to find some stability here. You are. Uh, it's light, airy. It's good energy over here. You have some anxiety. I don't know why. Oh, because you think things are happening too quickly with the Fool. That's fine. What else for Libra? Letting your guard down. Could be meeting somebody in the future. It'd be like a wish fulfillment. Could be a Taurus, doesn't have to be. Could be an Aquarius. Ooh, I, ooh. This would be like a brand new beginning with somebody, okay? This is a very new person. Very, very new person. Very different energy than you're used to as well. We also have the High Priestess. This could be like a, um, a connection that's very spiritual or you guys feel like you know each other from a past life, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, oh, look at you getting cold feet, though. That's okay. It's okay. Looks like you're going on some sort of spiritual journey over here, too. So maybe you're, maybe you're, you know, getting back into some sort of spiritual journey. Maybe, um, you know, meeting this person is going to trigger something for you, which is good. It's always good to have growth. Anything else? For Libra, anything else before I end it here? All in all, this was a good reading, Libra. I like it. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Who the hell is the Seven of Swords? Who's the Seven of Swords? I'm getting right now, I can tell you right now, I'm channeling that whoever this is, they're going to blame somebody else. Could be a Cancer sign, could be a Leo. 
somebody you were once involved with or at a distance. They are going to do something. I don't care if it's like doing some stabbing you in the bag, doing something behind your back, stealing from you, whatever the case, they're going to try to blame it on somebody else. You're connected to this person somehow. Could be a family member. Again, I think you're going to be getting involved. It says you're having a hard time dealing with it when you do, though. Just make sure it's not that broke person. <laughs> All right, guys, um, again, let me know if, if there's any like special bonuses you'd like me to do this week, but I will go look over the list that you guys sent me last time and see what we can figure out. All right, have a good week.